Congrats on the win. Thank you so much. How exciting uh, was that for you? Oh, it feels amazing. You know, finally three wins in the UFC and my first finish, my first submission, my record. <laughs> It's uh, it's funny to look back at you know at your resume at, at your fights and then look, and you got to go way down there to find your your last finish. You know a little bit more than seven years. I know that's something that maybe you don't necessarily think about during a fight, but is that something that you think about uh, you know during training camps or in between fights? You know hoping. To, to finally get a finish? Of course, you know, um, as a fighter, you always want to finish the fights, but um, it took a long time, as you said, but now I feel great, you know, as I'm getting older too, I feel more mature, even, you know, my mind, my, my body, and also my, my, my fight game. Talk about her as an opponent, and, you know, did you feel like that type of finish was something that, that might be available for you against someone like her? I mean, I think she lost her last fight by a choke as well so yeah well um this is a, a place that we wanted to explore also because like i say my last fights i've been trying you know to show my skills on the ground uh, i want to show that i also still learning you know i'm not just now a striker i i want to show everyone that i'm also a finisher on the ground and my jiu-jitsu is evolving talk about i guess you know the um the title picture in your division, and a lot of divisions, it might take five, six, seven wins in a row to, to be up there and in consideration. But in your division, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Three might be enough. You know, do you feel like you should be next in line after uh, Valentina's next one? Well, I hope so. I've seen that the girls in my division usually have four wins in a row. So, yeah, let's, let's do this. You know, I'll be ready whatever UFC brings to me because I work so hard. So if, if they come to you and say, we want you to fight one more time, you're ready to do it. But what if they what if they said, hey, maybe sit back and wait? And would you be OK if you had to wait until much later in, in the end of the, you know, toward the end of the year, if it meant getting a title shot? God, this is a dream come true. That This will be a dream come true. And, you know, since I'm not injured right now, I will come back to the gym and keep training just to be ready, just in case, you know. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Alexa, over here. Um, congrats on the win. Um, Strawweight seems like a lifetime ago at this point, considering. But you came in with so much hype, you know, when you first got in the UFC. Do you feel like you're just you're finally now, real, you know, kind of living up to your potential? Yes, I feel like I said. As I'm getting older, I feel more mature. Uh, my fight game, my fight IQ is getting better, and that's what I do every day. You know, I love training. I really love training. I love learning, and now it's paying off. I think through your first, your last couple of wins at, at Flyweight, everyone said, you know, Alexa has some of the best boxing in this division, and I would agree. Was it fun to show you have more than that, though, in this fight, to go out there and get a submission the way you did, this to show that you're more than just a stand-up fighter? Yes, well, I love boxing. Honestly, I do love boxing. I love my hands. I love, you know, to do um, technique so clean. That's my favorite thing. But, yes, now I don't just trust in my hands. Now I trust in my ground game. And I'm a complete athlete now. What do you think about the lay of the land of Flyway? Because we know that it's going to be Valentina and Tyler Santos coming up in June. Uh, we've got Misha Tate now in the division, find Lauren Murphy in July. We just saw Mino get a big win earlier tonight. Can you kind of give me a sense like where you feel like you do fit in when you look at the best fighters at Flyway? Well, I've, I've shown that I'm evolving so much and, and that, I, that I deserve to be on the top of that list. So, yeah, just waiting for the next challenge. Valentina has looked so unbeatable, you know, at flyweight, and and you know she's been incredible in this division. Um, how much does having a champion like that drive you in terms of your own game? Because she's been there this entire time. She's been the champion. She's the only, you know, the only. <laughs> she's been the, the the champion at flyweight. Does that force you to want to get better, knowing that that could eventually be your your future? Of course, you know, having a champion like that, it's always um, a challenge for for all athletes, I guess, because. We have to do everything perfect, you know. With some some opponent like that, you have to do everything on point, and that's what I've been doing. You know, I, I love crisp technique, I love sharp technique, so that's I think that's gonna be the key. Congrats again on the win. Thank you. Just one for me. There was a it looked like there was a lot of emotion in the post fight press, uh, your post fight uh, interview out there. Was that just from 
the the crowd being there was that from the submission was it from finally getting a win after so much time away from the the cage what was going through your head right there and what was the what was going through your mind yeah that well the emotion was all the things you said you know <laughs> a long time without stepping on the octagon you know see the crowd again finally full here in a very quiet and calm city a lot of people finally three wins in a row in a new division i feel amazing you know i i wanted to have my first submission because i have several submissions on my ground so yeah i'm, I'm just adding more uh more things to my my record so this place will now always have a special place in your heart perhaps of course ohio it's amazing <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.